Hi everybody, it's Peter Zellums for you to the big roads. I'm out my daily exercise, found a new place to put the GoPro, which is on my chest. Let's see how that goes through my hill climb. Get the heart rate going. Whew. Today's video, good question, don't really know. Okay, yeah, okay, today's video is going to be testing out my new Peak Design bag. We need it to the top. Heart rate 144. I reckon it will peak out about 150 something. Whew. Okay. So that was a 21 meter climb. <sighs> and uh, yeah, 146 beats per minute. I can go up to 150. Allowing for a bit of time delay. Okay, I'm on my circuit around Iron Cove here, it's a seven kilometer circuit. Um, on a good day, I can do it in 20 minutes. My heart rate is uh, went to 150, I was maintaining that. I know from past experience, if you can maintain around 150 odd, you can improve your VO2 max. Does that mean anything to you? Well, right now, for my age, I'm slightly above average. at a VO2 max of uh, 30. I find that if I exercise on a daily basis and do my circuits, then my VO2 max can gradually increase. It could take a month to go from say 30 to 31. It's taken me a month to get from 29 to 30. Ah. That VO2 max is a measure of how efficiently your blood can absorb oxygen. The more oxygen it can absorb, the more energy you have. Okay, the stats are 150 beats per minute. It's done about 18, well, 17.58 kilometers over the last 54 minutes. And a long awaited break. Let's have a look at this bag and see what sort of setup I've got here. So, you may notice I've got my mount here for the GoPro. I've got my bag, lots of perspiration, and uh, the bag is over the shoulder, and you can see that it's sitting here behind me. Now, what I like about this setup is that you can actually use some of these hooks, and then the bag just slides around, which is fantastic. So normally, if you've got this over your shoulder and you lean forward, then the bag falls forward, but by having that little strap here, it, uh, it prevents the bag from falling forward. So that's one of the first things that I liked about the bag. Let's have a closer look at all the other things I like about it. Peak Design. I discovered Peak Design by accident. Let's have a look what's inside here. I've got my Leica camera. And I can probably explain why, how I discovered it by accident. It's to do with these little tags. These little tags, they're called anchors. It's got a little PD on here, Peak Design. And the concept of actually being able to put on a, a strap and take it off was so appealing. 
Now, I didn't discover Peak Design, but I noticed on the internet, eBay and whatever, that there were a lot of Chinese unbranded versions of this selling dirt cheap for, you know, three, four dollars uh, an anchor. And uh, so I got some of those and got some straps and it didn't take long before I was had these on my Nikon, not on the Leica, luckily. And I was out there by a beach walking over rocks and I tripped and I fell and the camera just jarred like that and that was enough to break the strap for the camera to hit the ground and smash the lens and lens filter there'll be some links to the video which prompted me to do some tests on these anchors and uh, got some peak design ones and then did some tests on the peak design anchors as well to find out well how much stronger are they and how good a design they are as well. There'll be a link to the movie, that, uh, to the video that was there as well. And it was brilliant. I was so impressed with the, with the design, with the strength and uh, with the straps. That prompted me to have a look at some of the other Peak Design stuff. And this is my first batch of stuff that I've got. I've got a couple of bags, a couple of mounts. And that's what this video is about, is to have a look at some of these things. So first things first, this bag, this is a three litre bag. It has a name, there'll be a link in the video. And I'm just impressed by the attention to detail here. So for example, this carry handle, which is great. It's got a whole bunch of information here, which I can always go through a bit later on. And um, what I really like is these little dividers that they have in here. What's so special about these dividers? is besides being a divider, they actually open up like that, which means once it's down, you've got two compartments, one underneath and one on top. So I shall demonstrate. Like so, which means that uh, if you've got some, another lens underneath there, you can put that down and you can put a lens on top. Brilliant. And then you've still got room for your camera. So literally you can carry two lenses and a Leica camera in this three litre bag. If you don't want to carry some lenses then you can carry a water bottle in there. It's not quite uh, deep enough. You might find that the water bottle cap comes out above it. So you could literally zip it up like that and have the water bottle cap coming out through there. In here you've got another pocket. This seems to be pretty waterproof. It's really thick material. It's all insulated, padded, so pretty robust, so you can drop it. And uh, in here, I've got my COVID mask, some headache tablets, so that's basically my first aid. And um, yeah, and then that, that closes. That's it, really. Pretty straightforward. These uh, lugs, you can see these heavy duty lugs. Yeah. Um, the material is stitched in so many different ways, there's no way you would ever break that off. And um, to a certain extent, this is a double material here. You could probably, <laughs> there's a secret compartment in there, but the only way you can actually get in there is, is through there. Strap here. I presume you've got one on the other side as well. And then these tags here, they just click on, clip on, clip off like that. So if you're carrying a jumper, you can have one on both sides. Um, the other one I just keep in here. The zip goes all the way down, which makes it really easy to open it up. And you've got a pocket in here, and this is the other one. Plus you've got a couple of little pockets here for memory cards, batteries, whatnot. Isn't this a fantastic design? Um, it's double laid here, I'll keep my business cards there. And um, this is just so wonderful. Uh, the, uh, the bag itself weighs about 300 grams, 350 I think. There'll be a, exactly the amount in the video. That's it, what do you reckon? Pretty good design. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward like that. You've got other magnificent things. You can take this hook off really easily just by clicking that. I 
like that, so it's good. Slide this up and down as much as you like, and then lock it in place like that. Brilliant. Or just release it like that, and then lock it in place, and that's your strap there. You can attach other things like this uh, bracket here, it's got a name, again there'll be a link to the video. I haven't got the uh, the plate here with uh, that you would normally mount in there, but if I did then I'd put a camera there as well. And that can be locked into place like that, it can be released. It's got screws that you can have permanently attached, or thumbnail screws that you can undo and do up as you like. Uh, this little mat here is there just to create some bulk so that you've got this backing plate top plate sits firmly and that's in place uh yes that's my setup so that works really well and then there's my tag again so i can just unclip one side here so take that around and then clip it onto there. And then it doesn't matter how much I lean down or... Oh, it's fairly firm, good enough for bicycle riding. Okay, I think that might be about it for this video. There'll be some details in the description below and some links, affiliate links, if you're interested in any of the Peak Design gear. By all means, do use that. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If it's the first time to my channel, then do subscribe, press notifications. You'll be notified when the next video is out. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.